Hi, it's me again with Corel Roll Tips and Tricks. And somebody sent me this photograph and they asked how they would make that. It is pretty easy. Uh, it's basically three layers of paint. The person who made this one actually welded the dinosaur to the letter, so it's going to be a little bit harder to paint. I wouldn't do that. I would just glue the dinosaurs in a spot layer. So I've already picked a B and I've picked Times New Roman and I've already picked a name. Um, and I went to the internet and I got some dinosaurs. I just, you know, it's, it's um, when you go to, I just pick pine leaf and let's back out of here. And if you, if you think about your filters, click on your filters and go extra large and black and white, if you're an engraver, you're gonna use only usually black and white. And I couldn't really see anything that really I really liked, so I just picked a big one. It doesn't really matter, it's got a lot on it, and we're gonna this is the the actual like the dinosaur did the same thing. Always make a copy, so hit plus on your keyboard. And then while that's selected, you've got to have it selected. Or if you don't, everything will disappear. And let's say if we wanted that dinosaur, we would just crop. Now we have just that dinosaur, and he's easily traced. So I'm going to go ahead and do what I did on the tracing, especially on the leaf. Here is our... Let me put a yellow box, go to object, order, back of page, and you can see the white bounding box. I made a copy, as I always do, and then I traced it, and then this is the trace version right here. Well, how do you get, so, you know, and then let's just kind of do it all over again. I've got that, and it's traced, but you can, we'll leave it in there. I'm going to go to object, order, or group and ungroup it. And then I'm just gonna pick the black and I'm gonna move it over, pick that little bit of black, that black, that black, and then just kind of look at it to make sure you've got it all. Um, it don't, you know, it doesn't have to be perfect but as long as there's no leaks. Now, how do we get the outline around there? Let's nudge it over one more time. Let's take a rectangle. Let's use the Smart Fill tool to fill it in. Now let's nudge it down and we'll left click, right click, and that gives us an outline. Go to object, order, or group, and you know, break curve apart, and then you can get rid of the box. The box that's around it, because we broke the curve apart. So now you have basically your cutout design. You would need to select that and make sure it's a hairline and I'd go ahead and make it in red, so I'm going to right-click my mouth. There's your there's your cutout. If you want to make sure it doesn't leak, just put a box around it. Take the Smart Fill tool and fill it in, and you have your leaf. It'll be really fragile, but it'll work. Same thing on the dinosaur. It did the exact same thing. I mean, I've got some uh, clip art that I cropped out of there. And then I traced it and I've got two dinosaurs. So now we're gonna start on the B. And let's bring this down so we can kind of see it. And what you need, you need to left click, right click, and then make a duplicate of that and nudge it over. This is gonna be your outline for your bottom. Let's go ahead and um, make it a hairline, but let's go ahead and make it red. So that'll cut out and it'll be like that. Now take this B and go ahead, and I'm, you don't have to probably, but I'd go ahead and convert it to a curve. Then go to effects and contour. Let's contour it to the inside. Uh, I'm gonna say 0.1 right now. That's not enough. Let's go 0.25, that'll give us a quarter of an inch. That'll look pretty good. Uh, their B is a little bit different. But then to get that white border, there's a couple ways you could break the contour apart. But one thing you can do is fill in with the Smart Fill tool and nudge it over. So these are going to be two pieces that you're going to cut out and paint. Let's make them 
I should have really nudged them over. Let me change my nudge factor to, like, well, let's see how big this thing is. Let's go 14 inches tall, so let's make her 16. And then just grab your outline. So then take this outline and left click, right click, and make sure it's a hairline. Then you're gonna cut that out. I actually like the B they use better, but you'll just have to search around for a better B. So this is gonna be your outline, and these pieces are gonna fall out when they were like the green part. Now remember that we've got this item, so what we're gonna do just to kind of do something, we're gonna make this that blue. We're gonna take away the outline for a second. We're gonna make this white, and then we're gonna nudge it up, take away the outline. That's what your, but it doesn't really show up. Um, tell you what, let's go to, no, well, let me do this. Let me put a box around it, make it yellow, go to up to object, order, back of page. So that's what it's going to look like. You don't want to do that. Um, that's going to be your border. So you're just going to glue that all they did was glue that border. So the, the thicker, the better. And if you use a better font or a different font. Um, and then just take your items. And, you know, I have very little artistic ability, but we'll make, um, you know, that. let's say you're not going to paint them. So there's going to be a brown. And, you know, it's just going to be a vector cut wood. And you're going to put one there, hit the plus key, you know, put another one there. And I'm not saying you're going to use this, but what I was saying, <clears throat> you're going to color that guy like a blue, go to order, put it in the front of the page. Instead of welding it to the white, it'd be so much easier just to place him in there and weld it or glue him down. And then you maybe want to use the other dinosaur and we'll make it that color too. And, you know, once you get it in, you know, instead of welding it to the outside, which would be pretty neat, we have to go to order front of page so we can see it. And then you can kind of scale it down. Now, if you want to weld it to that, then you're going to have to paint them individually. Or, you know, you're going to have to do what they did, and you can kind of see the bleed of the paint, you know, especially like right there. There's a little bit of, you know, if you if you just, now welding it will look cool, but it's not gonna make it any stronger. It's just a wall hanging. And then on the Laura, just take a font you like, and you have to kind of do it in this order. We need to go to object and break it apart. We need to select it all. We need to go to object and convert it to curves. Then we can left click, right click, and you can see the lines that make up the fonts. So then I'll just take it and weld it. And it got rid of those lines. Now, so you need to break it apart first, then convert to curves. If you convert it to curves and then break it apart, you're going to miss the inside. And let's say... Um, and this is going to kind of stand out because of the fact that it's uh, white on white. And maybe put it in here and angle a little bit when you glue it down. That way you can kind of see how big it is before you cut it out. Now let's make it a different color and see it's behind the white. So let's go to object, order, front of page. Anyway, that's kind of easy. You know, these are going to be pretty fragile. Um, you could pick a different leaf. Um, there is a way you could make the leaves a little bit, a little bit thicker. Let me just go over that real quick. Left click, right click, and black. Now we're going to go to effects, 
contour, we're going to contour the outside like 0.05. That's too much. Let's go 0 0.03. Then you would break this contour apart, and now you have a thicker leaf. I like this one. It will, you know, depending on how big it will, you know, it is, uh, it'll cut out, but that's what it would look like versus that one. I like the original one. You, maybe you don't have to contour it quite so much, but I mean, all you have to do is cut it out, sand it, and leave it, you know, either a wood color or paint it brown. Anyway, or you could actually, and see, they didn't even sand this very good. This is like MDF material. In the words of my mentor, Roy Brewer, project complete. Hope that helped. Thank you for watching.